Hello everybody, Saturday the 8th of December 2018 It's a little bit above freezing and The rain is persistent But I'm down on the plots I've got a cherry tree to put in today And I've also got a A bit of staving up and securing up and, and stiffening up Of, um, of the big uh, raised bed The giant raised bed to do So uh I'll crack on. All right, see you in a bit. Yeah, so all I've done there is I've put some more supports in, staved them in, so I'll knock them into the ground. It's now got one that's about every two and a half foot. Uh, there's these these braces there. There's that. There's those two new ones there that I've put in, and it goes all the way down, and it just gives it that extra support, extra strength, stops these side uh, panels bursting out once it's full of the soil. Um, and compost that we're going to be throwing in there and it should be ready should be fine and dandy for next season all right so the next segment of footage um, unfortunately was um, a bit of a mess really because when I filmed it I thought I, I did about three or four minutes talking about where I'm going to put this cherry tree uh, of my sisters and showing it from all different different angles but it was on the side it was like that which was no good so uh, we'll cut to this next bit so yeah as we've dug down we've hit this which is a clay rocky sort of an area and that's around about a foot below um, below surface level that we've come across that and there's a little this is where obviously the water table is or the aquifer or whatever you want to call it underneath and there's a stone and brick and all sorts in that so I'm not going to dig down too much further because of this water issue um, yeah so that's what we've come across mmm yeah so I think that's the kind of position that I want the cherry tree to be in. Um, that's where we're gonna we're gonna keep her. Just gotta be careful coming around these uh, piles of wood. Yeah, and that's just off centre really, uh, but it's central more to the tiki hut as you're looking out onto the plot. Yeah, so I'm at the doorway of the Tiki Hut now, and uh, that's where she sits. So again, it's slightly off centre. It's actually central to the Tiki Hut, but as you come out of the door of the Tiki Hut, you can look past the cherry tree. This is, this is actually the doorway uh, that I'm, I'm at now. And that's just stood on, on the little steps. And that's how it'll look. And that's where the cherry tree, I think, is best placed about there because it's not going to be in the way too much there I can keep those lower branches a little bit trimmed down so as you can you can sort of shoulder past it quite easily and uh, yeah I think that's going to be okay right there where it is yep so I'm just going to have to backfill around the base of the tree and um, and top it off get it get it get it sort of bedded in okay and there it is, bedded in, earthed in, and uh, wood chipped up to the base to the base of it. No one would ever know it was a new addition, would they? At first glance, but it is our latest little baby. That the cherry tree. Obviously, come uh, summertime. We're going to have to uh, make sure the naughty birds don't eat them all and we're going to have to net it off in some way or discourage the birds from getting all those cherries. That's the reason that my sister um, gave it to us really. The birds were having everything off before she got a chance to take any. So um, yeah we'll see what happens with that one this year. Looking alright isn't it? It's a good little spot for it that. Again, Natasha Goswami said that will be aesthetically pleasing in that position. And it is. Or it will be when it actually looks like a tree next year. 
Um, but as I say, it's offset to the plot. It's probably two thirds of the way from mixed fence line, which is here. Yeah, so you're probably about, I would say, two thirds or three fifths. And it's kind of central to the cheeky hut as you look as you look down the plot. So I think that'll be fine and dandy where it is. So wish us luck with that. I hope it does settle in and become part of the family, the fixtures and fittings down here on the little farmer's farm. Um, so yeah, it's been absolutely persistent the rain today. It's, uh, it's, it's coming down again now, I can just feel it. Um, so I've only managed to get up here for about a, half an hour to get that put in. It was too cold and too wet today. Not particularly cold to be honest with you, about 6 degrees Celsius. So that's not too bad. But the rain and the wind, uh, the wind earlier was uh, earlier was quite bad. Um, you, we were having like 60, 70 mile, 60 or 70 mile an hour gusts of wind coming down it was pretty bad that I was a bit dubious about putting the tree in actually with the weather with the weather as it was but that wind's really dropped down and apparently tomorrow's going to be pretty um, um, pretty moderate as regards to the wind so that should be alright all I might stave that up anyway in fact I probably will stave that uh, just until it's it's settled in just to give it that support until it's settled in and um, so hopefully he or she, our new little friend, will find a home and be quite happy here with us. Yeah, I'll stave that up. Um, so yeah, a um, couple of new friends that we've got on the little farm. Picked up some more subscribers, close to 300 subscribers. So if you are watching this for the first time, we love getting new friends and we love talking to people. We always comment, we always say hello. If you've got a channel of your own, we try and get on board with your channel as well. And, um, and give you all the support and encouragement in the same way that we get the, get the support and encouragement from our fellow growers. It's, it's a nice thing to do. Um, <coughs> So yeah, been chatting to a few different people. Ryan, we're on with Ryan now. Um, over at, um, excuse me. Oh, who's Ryan? I'm not getting after that. Um, I'm sorry, Ryan. I'm getting to, I'm sure I'm getting something wrong with me. Don't get a bit worried about it. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll come back to that. When I get back to our place, I'll, I'll check on who we've been talking to and do a proper job of it. Because I don't like being like sort of Mr. Thicky. It's not good, that. Um, I did it with, um, I did it with Ronald the other day. I'm doing it again now. It's probably nothing, but... It's a bit of a worry that when you can't. Mind you, there's that many people that we're talking to now. You can't. I can't remember all the precise names, but I did it with um, with Jasmine as well. I know Rue is a little girl, but I was calling Jasmine Jessica for ages and like repeatedly doing it. Jasmine Jessica, Jasmine Jessica, Jasmine Jessica. It is Jasmine. It's not Jessica Rabbit. Although she does look a little bit ja like Jessica Rabbit. It's not Jessica Rabbit. It's his Jasmine. And um, it's a lot, it's a lot meant small holding. Uh, she knows who she is. You all know who you are, don't you? You'll have to forgive an old, um, an old fool. Uh, but yeah, that's all we're doing really today. I think if tomorrow's any better, we're going to be getting some more of those raised beds in. I went looking this morning at getting some polycarbonate clear. Uh, twin wall 8 millimeter polycarbonate sheets to do the uh, the greenhouse with that's what I wanted to do that was my plan this morning but I went all over town this morning looking loads of different places I went to about five or six different like plastics companies and uh, I went to Wigan Timber they don't do it because it's not timber basically um, so I went to a couple of different places one of them was on the recommendation nobody's got it they can get it but they've not got it in 
and that's for doing obviously doing the um, the polycarbonate plastic clear plastic sheeting on my timber greenhouse there. At the moment, it's got the um, the poly the poly sheeting on up there as you can see but that's not giving the correct sort of insulation it's not robust enough really to stand the test of time it's working it's working at the moment but it's not it's not ideal it's not what i want i'll go and show you actually the inside of it i did a repair on it and, and re re roofed it a couple of weeks ago yeah so inside here is the warmest uh, the warmest spot on the plot really this it's a lot warmer than it is outside what are we on here yeah it's around about 10 degrees outside it's about six um so yeah that's like that i can say i've re polyed it but this is not ideal it's not ideal it's not proper horticultural um plastic it's just um the stuff that the asbestos removal guys use when they're making tents when they're making the asbestos removal tents with it it's cheap 28 quid a roll but it, it, it's it lasted about three or four months before it started to break up as you can see like this that's how it got when the winds got at it and the sun had finished with it it uh, just made it dead brittle so um it's only a temporary measure this 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 sort of re resheating with the visqueen or whatever you want to call it polyvisqueen stuff um, because I'm going to get the polycarbonate and it's called it's 6 milli twin wall polycarbonate clear sheet so you want it clear so it lets as much of the natural light through as you possibly can and I think it's about 95% that it lets through the 8 milli stuff um, the, the 8 milli twin wall stuff that we're going to be getting that's what we're going to have and that's going to be cut into four foot by two foot um, dimensions and that should be fine for here because these are two feet these are two feet center to center and they are four feet up from the to the because these were eight foot lengths of two by two that were cut in half so it should be just about right it might hang over a little tiny bit which i want it to do um i do want it to do that because if it hangs over a little tiny bit i can put a gutter then along here to collect the rainwater from the top and fill up some uh, you know the water but then i'm going to be putting outside so we're going to sort of harness this rain it's, a, it's a, such a pity to waste don't waste anything if you can so harness rainwater it's much better than tap water you don't have the floor the, the fluoride and the chlorine and stuff like that that you do get in tap water chlorine is not too bad actually because if you leave uh, tap water out the chlorine dissipates and it becomes as nothing after a couple of days but i think the fluoride and other and other things that may be in the tap water get left in i'm not too much of a freak about tap water to be honest some people are you know they get all alex jones about it I'm not too sure about that um, but if you can collect it for free that's always better isn't it natural rainwater from the sky um, it's what plants for millions of years have been uh, been living off isn't it all right so uh, that's us for this afternoon i think i'll catch you later on i'll do a roundup back at ours and talk about some of the people that we've uh, that we've gone on to this last week and some of the conversations we've been having um, okay, see you in a bit. So yeah, as soon as I stopped filming, uh, it came back to me. It's Ryan, isn't it? At a little dirt never hurt. Our Canadian mate. So yeah, that's who I was thinking of. So it's Ryan that I've been chatting away to. He's a good lad and there's a few more. I'm going to go back to the ranch now, unfreeze my mind and get myself a bit more up to speed with with the uh, intelligent speech uh, once I've thawed out and had a cup of tea um, so yeah I'll catch you back there in a short time alright boys and girls um, I look like somebody out of Assassin's Creed not a good look is it at the moment 
but I'll tell you what, this has stood me proud, this jacket. We were talking to uh, Liz and Erica last night on the chat about there is no such thing as, uh, as bad weather, only inappropriate clothing. Now, that's not quite true, of course. Is it? There is bad weather. There's atrocious weather that you wouldn't want to be caught dead out in. But today, it's about 7 or 8 degrees now. When I first came on, which is only about an hour or so ago, it was cooler. Uh, and it was a lot more rain. It was pouncing down. And it was very, very cold. It was like 2 degrees above zero. But once you start grafting, you, you can warm up. It's keeping dry that's the main thing. And I'm going to do a bit about that um, in another episode coming shortly how to keep warm and dry um, in the winter time and in inclement weather and uh, how to wax a jacket like this because I hand waxed this jacket and waterproofed it and um, it's, it's stood me in good stead all this year even with the beasts from the east at the beginning of the year that we had this jacket with the layers below it you always use layers to sort of keep yourself warm and dry which, again, I'm going to talk about this properly in another video. But that's the key to it. Keep yourself warm. Keep yourself dry. When it gets really, really cold and wet, leave it. Don't kill yourself. Uh, but you can continue to, to, to get out there and grow well below zero. I'd say you can get down to about minus 10 before it becomes too uncomfortable and too much of a, a pain and, uh, and a hardship. Uh, as long as you're keeping your feet and your hands warm, your head keeping your core temperature up so yeah back to the ranch see you in a bit sorry jasmine and that's jasmine and rue at alternative small holding not allotment small holding and not jessica it's jasmine at alternative small holding for some reason, I have a uh, I have a mental block when it comes to that. Unbelievable, unbelievable. So yeah, we're going to catch you later on for much more on the Little Farmers Farm. We're going to be down there tomorrow doing a few bits and pieces that uh, we hope you will find very interesting. If not, bugger us off. If you do like it, like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell. We're not on any alternative sort of media channels, really. I very, very rarely go onto Facebook, but I'm thinking that I might have to. People keep saying to me, uh, get on, um, not Snapchat, what's it called? Give us a, bit, give us a few tips and advice about you know, where, where, you, where you need to go on to spread the word and the love to get your channel more recognised and to get... Uh, because this is what we want to do we want to uh, we always uh, give shout outs to people that we like and we want the plan has always been really to spread the word about organic growing and uh, doing some sort of self self sustainable um, work and teaching your kids to do the same sort of thing you know what I mean so that's the whole idea of what we're doing so I'm sorry again to um, um, to Jasmine See, if you changed your name to Jessica and changed your channel name to um, Allotment Small Holding, there wouldn't be an issue, would there, really? It's your fault, really, uh, Jazz, in many ways. I'm so sorry. Um, so, yeah, and enjoy the rest of your weekend. We had a wonderful time with... Uh, I only caught the last bit of Richard and Paul last night, and uh, I missed all the, all the stuff about breaking wind and, and Christmas and all of that, missed it all, I've uh, watched it again, there was two hour one last night, Richard and Paul's, and uh, also if you get the chance, if you didn't see it last night, um, watch Erica, Erica's Little Welch Garden, because she had um, Liz Zorab on with her and they were wetting the knickers for about, uh, about 20 minutes, which was dead funny. It was really funny to watch. So uh, yeah, we enjoyed that. They should do more of them, um, Liz and Erica. They're a right little double act, which we like. It's funny. And you get loads of information. I like the chats. It's the first live chat I've caught, actually, of Liz's. But it was on Erica's channel last night. Uh, so yeah, have a look at that one. All right, we'll catch you next time. Have a great weekend. Ta-da now.